Hey guys, it's me James and I'm here with Passepartout the Starving Artist. I more than likely butchered that name because I took Spanish in high school. Well, more correctly, I failed Spanish in high school. But uh, this is a cool little painting game that uh, around the time it came out, uh, it looked interesting to me. I saw one or two YouTube videos and I decided it was 10 bucks. Let me just try it out. So the game takes place in three acts. Uh, you start out here, you have your little storefront. You can kind of just click to move around. But the m most important thing here is the easel. You click on that and you just get the paint. So you have all the colors down here. Right now we only have a brush, we'll get two more uh, items later in the game and I can decide how big or large the brush will be or I can use my mouse wheel. So uh, for this first one, I say we just, let's just go with what we know. So at first, there is only darkness. But then, there was Passport Out. And this is kind of what I just do <laughs> in this game. I just, uh, I just paint. I, I don't really think too hard about it. I actually don't know what colors Passport Tout's eyes are, so we'll just go with black. Let's, let's just use a little darker color for his eyelids. And he looks very... That looks terrible. But you know, just let the art move you. He has a nice blue hat. I think it has a little thing sticking up here. I believe he has a red nose. I'll be honest, I don't really look at the main character that much. He kind of more disturbs me. Like, he's the only green person, apparently. And let's just... He looks sad. His eyes make him look sad, so let's make him sad. Let's just get a little... Get his coat in there. It's nice, nice bright white. Oops. Oh, that's a nice thing about that. I can just fix it like that. Let me use this dark gray to kind of flesh out some arms. And his clothes are very uh, spotted with paint because he is an artiste. So let's just put that there as well. <laughs> uh, and it, it's very simple painting. I'm sure there's some people who can do amazing things. But saying that I'm not an artist, that's actually pretty good for me. So uh, let's just put, um, hmm. There we go. It makes absolutely no sense. So here we got some people who are just walking around. He actually left. Here we go, so this is a punk rocker. Uh, they generally like more crazy things. So, hypothetically, generally they like some, you know, more brightly colored, crazy, just lines everywhere. You know, expressionist uh, type things. And this guy's a hipster, as you can tell by his baguettes and shitty outfit. Um, and the hipster will pretty much buy almost anything. That's actually not bad for that price. So I'm actually going to sell it to him. The problem with hipsters, though, uh, at some point they'll be like, you're too famous, and then stop buying your shit. But then they keep coming and insulting your, your art, which that's not cool. So this is something that the punker, punk rock, rocker might like. I'm just, I'm just doing my own thing. That's kind of just what I do when I play this game. I don't think too hard about it. Uh, I just named them randomly. There is actually something I found that um, the punk rockers generally buy. Oh, she liked it. 23 gold. Yeah, sure. So, I found myself painting this like every other time I play this game, so... But the thing is, what you're supposed to do is just paint. At some point, you'll be discovered. 
depending on who you uh, sell the most to will determine uh, where you go next and like which act you go to. And there's multiple endings. I've played this game maybe like uh, three or four times. So I got like three or four endings. And honestly, I'm probably uh, done. Like this is probably the last time I'll play this game. But I think it's really cool. Yeah, that's probably spelt right. Oh, and this older guy, he likes things that take uh, uh, time. Like, uh, generally I find um, stuff that... He likes more uh, of these darker colors and he prefers uh, uh, things that take a little bit lo longer than, you know, just painting uh, randomly like this. So generally for him, like, I'll... Yep. They, they, all these punk, or, uh, punk rockers, they love this, this design. I'm not, so I just actually found out there's this haggle button. I don't know how long that's been there and I just missed it. And I just don't use it, honestly. So here we go, like a dark, darkish sky. That's, no, that's way too bright. That's the one thing. I, I kind of wish I had more controls over the colors. This looks terrible already. Um, like, I kind of wish I could, like, double-click and be able to change the tint or maybe even mix colors. Uh, the later tools you'll get is, like, a spray can. Uh, so if you've ever used MS Paint, uh, it's that. And uh, you also get this thing where it, uh, it, it's kind of like a delayed pen, I guess. I get you're supposed to be able to use it for more precision while doing curves and things. I just I don't know how to use it myself. What the hell am I doing right now? <laughs> Let's just hmm. I'll, I'll just let the art take me. Just yeah. It's a cyclops. Yes, that's what it always was meant to be. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. <laughs> uh, I ended up finding this. This is kind of a fun game to just like sit down, just randomly paint, listen to a podcast. I ended up watching a lot of Giant Bombs E3 videos this way. And it actually does have a nice relaxing kind of sense to it I actually found myself I booted this game up just to try it the first time and I ended up just playing it for like two hours with the music going so there is this whole situation where you have to pay off you know your bills and stuff and earn enough money I generally don't find it difficult uh, the next phase can be a bit more difficult because you really have to figure out what your um what the people want and be able to paint it because if you can't you'll run out of money quick because at that point you have a, a studio or something uh this game has many endings i've got two I, I well i got the fail state um i got the um one where it's like you're all you're just in this for the money and i got one that's like minimalist uh style which i have no idea how i got uh, you know what? No, I, I don't like that. Mm. Whatever, whatever that was going to be, I didn't like it. Oh, uh, let's figure out something that would be fun to... Well, nothing would be fun to paint. <laughs> let's just... Yeah. yeah. This is the sea of my soul. And over here... Is an island. And on that island... On that poorly made island. <laughs> yeah. Is a tree. There's always a tree on islands. And what's unusual about this tree is. It's a pine tree. 
all alone in this island. Never to know any other palm trees. Made to live alone for the rest of its life. Because I, the artist, chose it. Let's... I don't know. Let's give some more definition to this tree. So there's a bit about like learning like what everyone likes, but it can just, I don't know. Like I said, I, I told you what most of them generally like, but that's kind of just the most I can make sense of it. Some of the later ones, I just don't. I just start painting and if they like it that's great if not I fail and you know I can't really tell you what they really liked about those paintings or not because it can feel random at times so there we go we got hmm there we go Hopefully that sells nicely. She likes that. Interesting. I didn't expect her to like it. Maybe it's because of the bright colors. And 108, that's not too bad. So yeah, this is mostly the game I'll, I'll try to play. Uh... Oh, some say that the passion and creativity of Passport Tad is the hottest new thing on the street right now. You'll get little things over here, so... I'm probably getting close to being noticed from some art critic. So I think I'll just play for a bit. Or, hmm. Let's just see what happens. Kind of wish I had the spray can by now, but that's fine. And I'll just. I like painting the earth every now and again. No one ever seems to like it, generally. I like painting it. I mean, it's not really painting. I'm fake painting the earth. <laughs> and honestly, I do a poor job. But that's okay. There we go. We can pretend that's a continent. Over here, here's another continent. See, that's the nice thing about art. It doesn't have to be exact. This can still be Earth, even though in all, in all, it absolutely can't be Earth at all, because Earth does not look like that. But it's fine. You know what? Let's, let's, add, a little, let's add a tree to that Earth. Yeah. Because that's art. You know what? I'm going to say the tree is in fall. It's all the red leaves red and yellow something I haven't seen in ages since I lived in Florida most of my life <laughs> yeah you know whatever whatever you get from this whatever you see is you know it's it's all correct it's all art I feel like I may have written something rude there in some other language but that's okay I mean, not really, but it's okay. Yes. Oh, he seems to like it. Well, let's haggle. Ah, six, seven, much better. Let's see, no one generally likes the color pink. But screw them, I paint for myself. just gonna let's just see where let's just see where this takes me the fuck did I just draw <laughs> see I when you're painting you just let it go but then you have to name it and you have to realize I just did not really think huh There we go. See, it just comes to you. It just and art and names just need to come to you. 
Yeah, that's the only thing hipsters don't like. They hate the color pink. Fucking hipsters and their hatred for pink. I'm gonna be very honest, I don't know what a hipster is in real life. <laughs> I just know people just don't like hipsters generally. Or at least that was the case. I, don't f I haven't heard the word hipster in a long time. Yeah, there we go. These guys, all I know is they, the punk rockers like the color pink. They like bright yellow colors, and they just... That, that's all I know, and it sells, which is good. But their next... The, if you follow with them, it can be difficult. Because then you have to figure out what the next set of those expressionless people want. Ah... <sighs> There is something missing here. There we go. Yeah. Hair. Of course. And its name is... Paul. That is the essence of everyone named Paul. I'm gonna hold off selling to the hipsters. Again, they just... At some point, they're just like, F you. You're too popular now. So I want to hold off selling to them. I, there is a bit of me that wonders if I can just stick to the hipsters and that will become an ending. But I tried that and still, like, I only sold specifically to the hipsters. And I still got the whole, hey, you're too popular now, screw you. Ah, there we go. Old guy knows what's good. Oh, I'm, I just noticed that they all have, like, puppet arms and stuff. Interesting. Like, their arms are bolted in. Like, uh... Actually, not even just, like, uh, puppets, but, like, those, uh... If you ever been to, like, a craft store in a... Like, the, the craft section of Walmart or something, you'll see those little model things. That's what it kind of reminds me of. I'm surprised I didn't notice that till now. Boom. Perfect. Spaceship. Make them think, you know? Oh! I finally unlocked the new tool, so what I'll do is... So, like I said before, it's just... It's spray paint, you know? It's what you think a spray paint... Uh, tool will do. And weirdly enough, I do actually use it. Uh, what I like to use it for is something like this. Actually, let's not go totally black. Let's... Yeah. The night sky. I'm gonna use some lights here and there. I'm gonna use some yellows down here. A little up here. Just a splash of more. I'm just gonna take this tool again and feather it down and kind of create a, you know, nice starry sky. Something you would never see in real life. Or, huh, you know, I actually think about it. I haven't really looked up at the sky at the stars. Maybe it does look like this. Or, you know, maybe it doesn't. Probably doesn't. Probably not that many skies. Ah, uh, skies. <laughs> Goddamn. There's not, probably not that many uh, stars in the skies. <laughs> no one's gonna like this one. The punk rockers won't like it because it's too dark colored. And uh, probably the other people aren't gonna like it because... Because uh, I probably didn't spend enough time with it or some shit. And actually the thing is, once... Uh, once you have it down there, he actually has to move. Come on, get the hell away. Uh, you can either rename it, uh, save it to, you know, your, uh, Steam Cloud, or throw it away. You you can't take it back off and, like, add something to it. So once it's on there, it is art. And you can't change art. 
uh, someone has taken notice of passport outs activities. But you know what? I haven't. For some reason, I quite like uh, doing this, though it, generally people don't like it, so we'll see what happens. We'll call this It's terrible. <laughs> F off. That's the one nice thing about the hipsters though, when you have them. They'll buy whatever bullshit you have as long as it doesn't have the color pink on it. Ah, good, he likes it. Sometimes that just does not sell. I don't know why I keep I keep wanting to paint it. Okay, let's let's try to do another another painting of our passport tout friend here. This time spray paint. Okay, both of those guys hate it. Now it is possible for like two or three of these old guys or two or three of those punk rockers be like this is shit and then the fourth one will actually like it and will buy it but generally if it's generally disliked i'll just throw it out or sell it to the hipster but let's just focus on what we have here me passport out looks more like a mustache but it's fine if I remembered how to spell this guy's name, that's what I would name it. But I don't. So we're just gonna call him Passy. Uh, okay. We're just gonna pink crap now. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I wanted to see if I can get to Act 2, but uh, apparently the stuff I'm uh, painting, uh, people aren't really liking. So, pretty much the game goes into another uh, act, and then there's Act 3. And depending who you sell it to, uh, determines which act you get, and which ending you get. Uh, the game's $10, I think it's... I like it! Like, it's very simple, and... Uh, Definitely after two or three plays, you'll probably be done with it unless you really want to go for to get all the endings. Uh, for me, after playing it three, four times, I'm probably done with it. But it was fun to pretend to be an artist and to be criticized and to have someone buy something you thought was utter shit. But uh, yeah, that was Passport Out, 10 bucks, PC. Uh, fun and not a bad game to just sit down and listen to a podcast but uh i don't think you'll be playing this for the rest of your days anyway thanks for watching and uh hope to see you guys again